uh, Good and Tuck. Uh, my name is uh, Ben Swain and I'm the captain uh, of the TS uh, Pelican of London, uh, the ship that you guys are going to be joining in, in four weeks time. So firstly, welcome aboard. We're really looking forward to having you uh, guys on board. And what we thought we'd do is give you a quick tour uh, to familiarise, to show you the ship uh, and uh, some of the areas, so where you're going to be sleeping, where you're going to be working, uh, and also sort of give you an understanding of what life on board the ship is going to be. At the moment, we are in a refit, getting the ship ready for you guys to come on board. So please bear with us with the mess that is on, on board. It will be a lot tidier when you're here. So I'm standing by the, the wheel, or what we call in English the helm, uh, and this is where you'll be when you're on watch. You'll be navigating the, using the compass, you'll be on watch looking for other ships, right? and you'll also be navigating in the dry uh, in the chart room here. Pelican is not very big, but she's a ship with a really big heart. So hopefully you'll enjoy sailing her. So as we walk down here, this area is known as the poop deck or the navigation area. Right. We've got boxes here with life-saving equipment, so immersion suits and uh, uh, line throwers for uh, uh, attracting attention. Right. This is the wheelhouse where you've just been into. Uh, that's where the chart room is. And then we come to the first mast on Pelican. This is the mizzen mast. That's the third mast. It's the shortest one we have on board the ship. So Pelican has three masts. Uh, she's known as a main mast barkentine. A barkentine is a vessel that has square sails right, on one mast. And on Pelican, that's in the middle mast here, which is the main mast. Now you may not know this, but Pelican is very, very special. She's the only one of her kind uh, in the entire world, as far as we know. So we're gonna go down off the poop deck uh, into what we call the well deck or the weather deck. Okay, so let's go down. So first thing we find on the weather deck is the uh, main mast. So if you like, this is the engine room of a sailing ship. The main mast for Pelican houses uh, four sets of sails. That's the main course, the topsail, the togallant, and the royal sails. Okay, so the theory is whenever you work on board this ship, yeah, you learn one side of the ship and all its ropes, because it looks like there's loads of ropes at the moment. But don't worry, by, by within a, being a week on board, you'll know what every single rope does. Okay, because that's what we're here to do. We're here to teach you how to sail the ship uh, and as well as uh, give you a great time and obviously lots of schoolwork and things like that. So, um, ship wise, there's a whole theory that the higher up the mast you go, the further aft. So, aft is a word for back. So, the further aft you go, the higher up the mast you go. So, if we move forward into This area here. So we're now underneath what we call the bikini deck uh, on board. Uh, it's actually where we store the boats and the rubbish, uh, okay, but it's also a quite nice place to chill out uh, when it's nice and sunny. Obviously a lot sunnier than it is today. But that's of course where we're going. We're leaving the winter of the Northern Hemisphere uh, and Northern Europe. Uh, and we're going across the, uh, 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 the, the tropics of Cancer uh, over to the Caribbean uh, and Costa Rica as part and parcel of the voyage. So the first leg is getting ourselves to Costa Rica via Lisbon and uh, also uh, Cape Verde Islands and the Azores, uh, sorry, and the um, uh, Canary Islands and then across the Atlantic Ocean. By the time we get to that point, all of you on board would be real good experts in terms of life on board and the routines uh, and then obviously school will start from you uh, at that time uh, as well. So, carrying on the tour, if we go up, we call this the forecastle. It means four castle. So imagine a, uh, imagine a castle. A ship is like a castle. It has decks or turrets, right? 
and uh, we're going to go up one of the turrets. So this is the foremast of uh, the Pelican. Okay, she has uh, uh, this foregaff. This sail is called a foregaff. Uh, that, that translates quite interesting into German, so make sure you look it up. So foregaff, uh, and this is a, well, a, a little sail which helps us along and pushes us around. And it's also at the head of the ship. And if we look forward, we can see the head sails. Right. Oh. So the head sails help point us towards the wind. So imagine main engine being the, uh, the main mast and the four masts are the, uh, the sails which help direct us into the wind. We also have our anchor here, which we'll be using a lot of. So when we find those really picturesque, beautiful uh, postcard bays, we'll be dropping the anchor and sending you guys ashore in the ship's boat. So this is the ship's boat here. Right. And we'll be sending you ashore into some of the most beautiful places uh, in the world because uh, we are going to the most beautiful places in the world. So we're going back down and what we do now is we show you inside the ship uh, starting with where uh, the bosun lives. Okay, the bosun is the person that looks after all the sailing, uh, all, all the sails and anything above deck. Yeah? So you'll spend some time with the bosun and uh, his name is Samo and he will, you'll spend some time with him uh, whilst you're on board. But I'll go and show you where he lives. So we're now going to go into the forecastle. Uh, where we meet Andrew, who's Hello. one of the riggers. Uh, the riggers are the people who maintain the rigging and all the pieces of string, but this is one of the riggers. Uh, so this is the, the bosun's store. Uh, it will be much tidier when you're on board. Uh, we've just got lots of rope and lots of work to do, as I said, to get ready for you guys coming on board. Uh, in here is another room. Uh, this is where the ship's mates will live, so uh, the deckhands. Uh, so they're like a uh, crew who work for me on board the ship uh, who help maintain the ship. So people like Andrew will be uh, living in the, uh, in the, in the forecastle uh, cabin there. So we're going to go down another level now to the bottom part of the ship, to the lower deck where the accommodation is. And that's obviously where you're going to be sleeping uh, and, uh, and having a good time. So whenever we go down steps on the ship, we always turn around and face the steps for safety reasons. So uh, better practice what we preach. Now we're down in the lower deck of the ship. Okay, the first place we come to on the ship is the provision store. So provisions is where we keep all of the food on board. So the freezers and fridges are being stocked up, getting ready for your arrival. So. I hope you're all hungry because we've got a lot of food to eat whilst we're on board. We're then going to come through into the accommodation. So the bunks on board are uh, like this. So some of the berth, this is a four berth. So when you're on board, you'll be allocated a cabin and you'll be allocated your bunk. That will be given to you by the chief officer when you arrive on board. So when you arrive on the Friday, on the Saturday, uh, when you join us in Dublin, uh, you'll be told uh, where you're going to live, your bunk. So you'll be uh, in one of the bunks here. Uh, you may even be lucky and you might get a, uh, a cabin with an ensuite bathroom. Look at this. So very posh. Unfortunately, not all the cabins have ensuite bathrooms because the teachers would probably take one of them for themselves. So. Right. Okay, so this is one that's occupied. So, so as the captain, I'd like to think you'll keep it tidier than the staff are at the moment. So, okay, so this is where the staff are living. And again, we have another ensuite bathroom. So Pelican is almost luxury, you know, not quite, but almost luxury. So just to give you bearings of where we are on the ship, this is the main mast that we were talking about uh, when we were up on the top deck there. So the main mast, this is where all the square sails are located. 
Okay, so we're going to carry on going aft now. Uh, we're going to stop here at this board. This board here is the Ocean College board. Okay, at the moment it's a bit blank, uh, mainly because you haven't arrived. So one of the things you're going to be doing on, on, on board whilst you're here is filling this board up with uh, memories, features, things you've done, photographs, and uh, we track, we put a chart on here as well, and we're gonna track where we've been. So uh, you can send that home uh, and show everybody and make them jealous uh, as, as well. We have more cabins in here. Uh, at the moment, we're uh, doing some work to some of them. Yeah. So this one here is being, uh, is being fitted out. And will be ready for when you arrive on board on board the ship uh, and here we start entering where the permanent crew so the staff on board live this is the engineers cabin the engineer is always very tidy okay uh, the cook lives here I won't show you the cook's cabin because it's a mess okay and uh, this is one of the cabins that does not have uh, an ensuite. So unfortunately, it doesn't have its own bathroom. So if you are lucky enough to be in one of these, the advantage of being here, so they're better actually, yeah? The reason why they're better is there's more space. Come and have a look. More space, more storage, but no bathroom. Hello. But it doesn't matter where you live on Pelican, right? It's the comfortable beds, you should sleep well because you're going to have a really, really busy day on board. And not only are you going to have lessons uh, with, uh, with your teachers, but you're also going to learn how to operate the ship. So part and parcel of your time on board is being on watch and working the vessel as well. So here we have what's known as the dog kennels, you know, woof, woof. Yeah, dog, so dog kennels. Uh, this is where the crew um, uh, wash and, and have our, our showers. So we don't get on sweet bathrooms like you. Okay, and then at the right at the stern of the ship, so the back of the ship, is this room here, uh, which is the engine room. Uh, unfortunately, access is restricted in here just for the, uh, the engineers, but some of you may be interested in engineering uh, and there'll be plenty of time on board whilst you're on board the ship to ask the engineer to show you in here. But we're going to have a look right now just so you can see what it looks like. So this is Pelican's uh, engine room. So in this room we have two generators which are located over here. This is the power station of the ship. So when we're at sea, we're not connected to the, the shore. We don't have uh, electrics that come from cables that are you know, uh, above us or pile, electric pylons. We have to generate our own electricity. So this is what um, the, uh, the generators do. Um, we also need to look after the environment as well when we're sailing. Um, so we have this, this big machine here. This machine is called a sewage treatment plant. So all the stuff that goes down the toilet, that uh, goes into this tank, which is below us, and gets treated, uh, it gets treated uh, into drinkable water. We never drink that water, don't worry. Uh, it gets put into the sea. So what it means is we're putting clean water into the sea and therefore protecting the environment. One of the things you're gonna be doing on board is learning all about the environment nature and how we interact with the sea. We're going to be a big project on plastics. Uh, you're also uh, going to learn about MARPOL, which is the regulations, the, the laws, if you like, that control what we can put into the sea. And at the moment, there's a lots of things going on around the world with regards to the amount of plastics which get put into the sea. So under no circumstances do we put plastic in the sea, but we're gonna learn a little bit more about how we can deal with plastic uh, and what the problems of plastic are. And hopefully in a few years time, you can reduce the waste of the plastic you use. The other important machine over in the corner here is the water maker. So this machine here, oh. This one on. The water maker allows us to make water. So uh, we need to drink water 
and one of the things we do when we drink water is uh, we use up the valuable supply we have on board. So this machine turns seawater, so what we're sailing in, right, into fresh water which we can drink. So we've always got fresh water on board. And if you're really quick, you might see the engineer. Okay, wave engines. <laughs> so, so this is Brian, uh, he's one of the engineers on board the ship. Yeah. So you'll either be sailing with Terry or Brian. Yeah. Okay. Right, can we go down and have a look at the engine? Yeah, uh, if you want to come this side a minute, just come in. So, so this is the engine room guys, and uh, as you can see it's quite tight down here. Poor old Susie that's filming this is um, luckily very short. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, we'll come up again. Watch your head. Okay, so that's a tour of down below, uh, below decks. We're now gonna go back up uh, into the mess room, which is where uh, you'll be spending most of your time when you're on board. <laughs> So here we are, we're now in the mess room of the ship. This is where it all happens, okay? Uh, so we're currently on a special weekend with all the teachers and the staff of the ship all getting to know each other and getting ready for your welcome. So say hello, guys. Hey. 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 So we're really looking forward to uh, having you on board. This room here is where you'll be eating your dinner uh, and, uh, and f eating food. It'll also be the main classroom on board the ship for your lessons as well. Okay, uh, so we're really looking forward to, to getting you involved in that. One more last place to show you, and that is the saloon, uh, which is sort of the chill out room and a second classroom. So follow me. En route, we go past the captain's cabin. Yeah. Uh, the very nasty, evil first mate's cabin. Okay, uh, this is the, uh, the ship's office. This is the second mate's cabin. Uh, so that, so the first mate is going to be uh, Michael. Okay, uh, he sailed with Ocean College before as well. And the second officer is Anusk. Uh, she's brand new uh, to the ship. Uh, this is her first, her first trip. She's just qualified from Nautical College, uh, having done uh, training a bit like yourselves or on board the ship that you're gonna do. So uh, uh, we're really looking forward to sailing with Anusk. And well, last of all, uh, this is the, uh, the saloon. So this is where you're gonna have some of your lessons. Uh, but also uh, on Sundays it will be a chill out room for you uh, and it's also uh, it's also where the staff uh, uh, have a little bit of time away from you also we'll be having some meetings and, and stuff in here so that's the pelican um, I hope you uh, um, appreciate and see uh, seen the ship I hope it uh, uh, makes you even more excited to come on board and uh, we're certainly very much looking forward to uh, to seeing you so our visa staying for now and uh, look forward to sailing with you soon.